I, I gave you the train analogy many weeks ago now. To me, and as you know, I love football. When you go abroad, jumping into a pond with one shark in it, or jumping into a pond with a hundred sharks in it, it changes the likelihood that you're going to get bitten. We started with 11 players in the team with the Wuhan vaccine, and you could say that we've kind of picked up a couple of injuries when Alpha came along and then Delta came along. We've had to use our subs off the bench to keep us in the game, but we're well in the game. Omicron is like now picking up a couple of yellow cards to key players on top. We may be okay, but we're kind of starting to feel at risk that we might go down to 10, 10 players. We're not going to wait for the red card to happen. We're going to act decisively now. The train has now slowed down safely. It has now stopped in the station and the doors have opened. That was the authorization by the MHRA. What we need now is for people to get on that train and travel safely to their destinations. Those destinations are all over the UK. This train is going to stop several times on the way. It's going to have to reach all parts of the UK. There will be trains that come behind it and that is all going to take time. People are relaxing, taking their foot off the brake at exactly the wrong time. It's a bit like being 3-0 up in a game and thinking, well, we can't possibly lose this now. But how many times have you seen the other side take it 4-3? Do not wreck this now. So this is like, um, you know, getting to the end of a playoff final. It's gone to penalties. The first player goes up, scores the goal. You haven't won the cup yet, but what it does is it tells you that the goalkeeper can be beaten. And that's where we are today, that first sign. And many of you may have seen me giving public health announcements from the podium at number 10 Downing Street. But tonight is different. Tonight, I'm speaking to you as a scientist and a doctor, not a government advisor. 